Hi everybody, my name's Leanne from Podunk Pretties. Um, I'm so excited for you guys to be here today. I got a new toy to play with this week and I've been having a lot of fun making circles and I wanted to share it with you, give you a review. This has been a hot item for about a year and I've been putting off buying it, putting off buying it, but I finally just bit the bullet and said, I'm going to do it. I can't take it any longer, but this is how it comes packaged. Um, just like this in this nice little pouch. Now I bought a double set. I have two sets of both sizes. So today I think we're going to just play with the bigger set, but on each one there's five different little rings, so it makes four different size circles. So we're going to toss these aside and use the bigger one. It also comes with an instruction sheet. Um, and at the bottom of the instruction sheet, it actually has a recipe for Ellen's Homemade Starch Recipe. So you'll want to read through that. Um, I might try that recipe. I've tried um, making my own starch before, and I really liked it because you can control the, um, the odor. Because of some, a lot of starches I don't use because they have a really strong odor. Um, you can also control how stiff it is. You can water it down, thicken it up. But um, today we're just going to be using Stay Flow starch. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. So it comes on this nice little ring like that. And you just pop it open and pull them off of there. It's real simple. They just slide right off. We're going to lay that aside. Okay, so what we need to do is, how about if we make the biggest one first? Sounds like a good idea to me. I've got all kinds of scraps. I don't know about you guys, but I don't throw away even the tiniest little pieces of scrap. And I want to show you this. I've got some really tiny ones. I've got a drawer that's just full of little bitty tiny pieces of scrap. And I, look at that. But I'm telling you right now, the little circle will fit on there. Let me show you. It will fit. And this one's been pushed down, but it'll fit. Trust me. <laughs> So anyway, let's throw that aside and get back to the circle. So we're just going to pop it down on there. Now you want to have like a quarter of an inch. You can have a little bit of the circle showing on the side. You see that right there? I've got a little bit showing. That's okay. You want a quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch. I try to use as little fabric as possible. You know, I may need it for another project, right? So, oh, and I also wanted to mention um, these are kind of beveled on one side. This side feels real smooth. And this side's got kind of like a, a sharper edge on it. And I like to have that, that smooth side down um, and the sharper side up. It just makes a better circle. I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to be, but that's the way I'm doing it. So we're just going to pop that in there like that. Oh, this fabric's been starched before, so it's a little bit stiffer, a little bit thicker. Now, what you don't want to happen is for it to pop all the way through. Now, let me show you what I mean by pop all the way through. If I turn it this over this way and put it on there and this way. Uh, whoops. It wants to pop through. It doesn't catch it. You see what I mean? So, that's why I want that shinier side down, the beveled edge down. And then we'll just pop that back on there. And it wants to catch. See, it will not push through. <laughs> I mean, I'm pushing as hard as I can, and it won't push through. So then all you need to do is cut that off. Now why don't you want to do it the other way where it kind of pops through? The more you have showing on the other side, the thicker your applique is going to be and you don't want that. You want a nice thin applique. And I have to tell you, I was really skeptical about this because I thought, oh you know, you can just go to the hardware store and buy some washers and nest them together and make your own. Well believe me, I tried because I am the cheapest thing when it comes to um, spending money on expensive tools. I'm not saying this is expensive, but you know what I mean. Gadgets get kind of expensive. Um, I have a wide variety of fabrics here. I will buy Walmart fabric, Joann's fabrics, and designer fabrics. I like them all. I am not a fabric snob, and I, you know, I like good tools. So I'm putting some starch on here with my handy dandy little water color brush pen, and I will talk about this 
in probably next week's video or the the video after that. Um, just all depends on editing time. <laughs> okay, we've got that on there. Pop that pin back on there. Now, um, I'm going to use a pair of tweezers if I need to to help me pop that out. I'm just pushing those edges up, get it a good start. Then we're going to press. Now, if you're new to my channel, um, I've got to put a plug in. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe, um, you know, you'll get notifications. Make sure that once you click subscribe, you click all. That way you get notifications every time a video goes live. I'm going to try to start doing more videos. Um, now, don't quote me on this or hold me to it, but I would like to try to start doing one every Monday morning. Uh, I think Mondays, it's just a good way to start out your week, you know, quilting. You've had a weekend with the family and maybe not getting in your sewing room as much. So, um, Monday morning, we're back at it. So, um, also, if you're new to Podunk Pretties, um, I am a quilt pattern designer. I'm fairly new to it. Actually, I've been doing it for 30 years. Um, back when I started quilting, there really wasn't as many um, books and YouTube wasn't even around, I don't think. I know it wasn't because I started quilting back in the 90s. We were still using, um, well, word processors. <laughs> anyway, I have a blog. And over on my blog, I have more nifty notions, um, tut tutorials or reviews. Um, if you look at, on the right-hand side, if you're on WebView, look on the right-hand side of my blog, and you'll see the nifty notions um, in the image in the sidebar. And you just click on that and it will take you to every Nifty Notions post that I've done. Okay, now this is super hot right now. Super hot. And we're just going to pop that out of there like that. And I'm going to grab a hold of that metal. It says in the instructions, now I must say, it says in the instructions to put this aside and wait a little bit. But I'm too excited, aren't you guys? Let's see this circle. Perfect circles are really hard to do in applique. But would you look at that? Perfect. Now my concern is, and I hope I can get can this can be seen. Do you see how thick that looks? Now I know it doesn't really look thick, but when you're doing applique, you want that sharp edge on the corner. It's easier to hide the stitches. So what I'm going to do is just give this a press. Okay. Hold it there for a minute few minutes just kind of give it a little wiggle, maybe, you know? I don't want to put any steam or anything on it. And that just flattens it right out and gives you that knife, nice knife sharp edge that you can put a stitch in and it would be just amazing. Um, I love this. I love it. I cannot tell you enough. I was really skeptical, but Apple Pops has, um, they've, they've converted me. <laughs> I love them. Um, so let's do another one. Let's do the, the really, really tiny one. You want to do that? Let's do the tiny one. This isn't the smallest one. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll do the super tiny one in the other set. All right. Just to show you that it can be done. Now, a lot of people say, what are you going to use that super tiny little um, circle for? Well, I don't know, but now that I've got one and it's going to make a perfect circle, I might just make a whole quilt out of these little things. It may take me the rest of my life, but I'll do it. So we got the right one. All right, let's go get that little green piece, see if it'll fit. Let's see if it's going to call me a liar. It might be too small, y'all. Let's see. Let's see if we can pop it down in there. Ooh, I don't think that one's going to work. Too small. Guess what? This piece can actually go in the trash. Oh, my goodness. I can throw something away. So that one will go in the dog bed pile. It's going to take me a few years if my scraps are that small, huh, for the dog bed pile. I've got a garbage bag. A 55 gallon garbage bag here in the sewing room um, that I throw my scraps in I don't throw too much fabric away guys so it's uh it's not getting full very fast maybe by the time my dogs um, 10 or 12 she's three years old maybe I'll have enough to make her a dog bed all right that one did it so again I'm gonna come in with my pen can y'all see it's awful tiny while we're doing this, um, we were talking about my blog earlier, 
And um, I also, if you sign up for my newsletter, you will get a free quilt pattern. Everybody gets the same quilt pattern. Um, the information to sign up for my newsletter is uh, the right hand side of my blog. Just fill it in and click OK and then you'll have to confirm it and the PDF file for the free quilt pattern will come right to your email. Um, I haven't been sending out a lot of newsletters. You know, there's so much to do when you're a quilter, right? And uh, marketing is the last thing I want to do, and I really need to get better at marketing. So um, I'm going to start trying to send out a newsletter at least twice a month, maybe once a week. It will never be more than... Um, twice a week. I'll tell you that right now because I don't like writing newsletters. I like to sew. And I am a one-man band here. I do everything. <laughs> I do the videos. I do the editing. I do the, the newsletters. I do it all. Um, I write my own patterns. And I have a couple different people who test for me and read the patterns over. So um, I do the best that I can with just a one-man band. So hop over there. Subscribe. And what you'll also get in the newsletters, what I'm planning on doing this year, is having a pattern of the month, which means every month there will be just a couple days that there's a super sale on a pattern, and you get it really, really cheap. But it will only be for the PDF version of the pattern um, that's super, super cheap. I may put the, um, the mailed pattern at a reduced rate, but I can't put it as a cheap because it costs me quite a bit to produce a pattern and mail it, or you know, the paper the part of it so I have to cover my costs for that so here's the little bitty one all right let's pop that booger out of there oh there it went the itsy bitsy circle how cute is that I love that these are perfect and I can't say it enough I was so skeptical about these I'm like there's no way this is gonna work and I am not a gadget go girl I am not I don't have very many gadgets. My friend Judy, hi Judy, that lives down the road, she's a gadget girl. She's got a, a ton of gadgets, quilting gadgets that I don't have. But um, I just try to make do with what I have. Unless there's something really great like this, you got to have it, something new. So there we go. We pressed that little circle, and I thought, you know, pressing these little circles are going to make them wonky. But guys, it doesn't make them wonky. They stay, oh, sorry about the jiggle. I'm trying to get it to focus. They say stay super straight. That is just awesome. So I've been playing around with these. I want you to look, guys. How cute. Put that little green dot in there. Oh, my goodness, isn't that darling? And I did a, um, I fussy cut this one, a little flower. Oh, adorable. So I've just been playing and playing and playing. I have no idea what I'm going to do with all these little circles, but they were sure fun to make. Here's another one that I fussy cut. How cute is that? Right? Okay, guys, that's it. I say these are worth the money. How much did I pay for mine? I got four sets, four sets of rings, and it was um, 50 some dollars. I did get a little discount, and I can't remember where the code came from, but I had a discount code and free shipping, so it was 50 some dollars. Is it worth it for four sets? Yeah, but you could always just get one set, and you know it's going to be, I can't remember, it's 30 some dollars or right at 40 maybe. It's a really good deal. So two thumbs up for me. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and hop over to my blog. Get your free quilt pattern, and we will see you, hopefully, next Monday. Bye-bye.